All right, guys, today we're gonna prep the C10 for thousands of miles of travel on Sick Week. And I'm gonna show you what's in this crate. Oh, it's so. Oh, it's cardboard! So, it's so anticlimactic. <laughs> Time to start getting ready for sick week. Most important, we gotta logo this thing up. Lose you guys that didn't see the live video. If you guys are headed to sick week or know anybody that's going to sick week, we are bringing shitbox line and fittings just in case. So if anybody has an issue with line and fittings, we'll have some of that stuff with us. Yeah, it's a shitbox. That'll work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Crooked and all probably. Doesn't matter. I can't tell because the line isn't painted straight. None of it matters. I will have some extra stickers too. So if you guys are going and you guys want some shitbox stickers, Mallory printed a bunch of these out. So I'll have a bunch of these on hand in different colors and all that kind of madness. Oh, it peeled the paint off. <laughs> it peeled the paint off so the sticker's not gonna stick. on my eye, it's okay. Oh, well that's about just on time. I'm like a nervous little kid. <laughs> so nervous in my life. Get your autograph in that line down there if you could. Down there. Go with one server, make sure everything looks like it's in good shape. Yeah. That looks good. Cool, man. Oh, man. Okay. Before I open this, I just want to say that this is years of work to get to this point. And it's pretty awesome. Like, this is something that I've wanted to do forever and never really could do. And finally, I stacked up all my pennies for a while. And it's part of the reason we haven't done a whole lot of content and a whole lot of other stuff. I've just been hustling, trying to make money, doing everything else to get this here today. So, all the way from Texas. They did a really nice job on this crate. Thank you, babe. You ready? Oh, it's so... Oh, it's cardboard! So, it's so anticlimactic. <laughs> Like, it's just cardboard, you can't even see it. I was hoping for like, the big reveal. I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness! Okay. There you go. Uh, we have a Texas Speed Aluminum 5.3-332 short block. This is the one they call the Ruthless Runt. This comes out of their in-stock short block series. And this is our first brand new engine ever. Now how do I get it out of the box? Texas Speed Aluminum 332. It's got Texas Speed pistons. I see K1 rods in there. They sent us some braking oil. Obviously with the order. We've got oil pump. 
Melling wood pump orders. We've got some gaskets. We've got a set of head studs. We have got timing set, timing chain set. Some new lifter trays if we end up going with regular style lifters. This is what I was really excited about because this is a custom cam specifically for the Nova. Like weight, gear ratio, everything. Specced out for the Nova. Transmission, you know, converter, weight, I mean just everything. We gave them all the information. They asked me, they're like, what do you want? You know, and I'm like, I'm not a cam expert. I'm not gonna pretend to be one. You guys build cams every day. So here's the car. So there we go. Load lift, 170. Gross lift, duration at 6, 280, 287, 228, 234 on a 114. Sounds good to me. So we've got brand new custom cam. And then of course, some new head gaskets. I knew that there was still gonna be some stuff that I had to order, but I bought this. So I didn't have money to like get buck wild and do the heads and do everything and do it all at once. But I figured I've got enough money to get us the major parts and pieces here and get us start working on it. Get it up on a stand. This is pretty dope. And things are tight. It's not tight to turn, tightly sealed, I mean, you can hear it. This is dope. There's still quite a bit of stuff we gotta get. Number one, we gotta get the valley cover. You know, at this point, it doesn't make any sense to not buy a new cam retention plate. Lifters, I think we're gonna try to do a nice set of lifters on this. I don't think we're just gonna use GM LS7 kind of things. I think we're gonna do a nice set. We gotta get some heads figured out. This is kind of why I was saving. If you guys remember, I bought that aluminum block with the LS1 heads and I was like, we should hold off on the LS1 heads because I might put those on. I might send those heads off to Texas Speed to be ported. I'm, I'm not sure yet. This also kind of makes a lot of sense on why we haven't been in a rush to throw in that other motor yet because I knew that this one was coming. I still think we're gonna probably throw in the other motor, but the reason we did that is because aluminum 5.3, aluminum 5.3, stroke is the same, but a little bit more bore. This is slightly bored over, so it's like a 332, but they're pretty similar. They're they're not the same, but they're pretty close to each other. And that leaves us with a super badass motor and a backup motor. I think we're gonna start the season with the backup motor and kind of learn on it a little bit. I was talking to my buddy Derek, slower than you, the guy who really helped me a lot with the tuning and getting it all set up and making it all work and everything. He suggested, if you're gonna spend the money on a nice motor, you really need to upgrade ECUs just because I'd like to have a little bit better control, uh, a few more safety features. So that's something we're gonna look into as well. We might go from the Terminator to like an HP. Big thing there is O2 sensor with the HP. You can use the NTK O2 sensor. They're a little bit pricier, but Derek says they're a little more accurate. We finally did it. Everybody, all that bullshit about, you know, take all your money and all this money you spent on junk motors and buy a good one and blah, blah, blah. I did it. I, I wanna give a huge shout out to Texas Speed because they joined the team this year. Like I said, I did purchase this. They did help me out a little bit. They, they made it attainable for somebody like me. You know, even through our partnership, even if you guys don't have a Texas Speed partnership, these things right here, the Ruthless Runt, which is meant to be like their, their budget series on the in-stock short blocks, $44.99 is the price on those. So you guys can too. You can stack up, you know, some pennies. You can save for a few months and you can go ahead and grab one. You know, you're gonna need the, the other stuff stuff too. I chose to go all brand new. I said, if we're going to go brand new, let's go all brand new. You no, know, they can make you a custom cam specific for your application like they did me. They have all of this stuff here in stock. I've talked to Texas Speed. They recommend like a Johnson lifter. You know, I recently, I went out to California. I met the folks over at Iski. They make some lifters. They have a lifter that's a Johnson lifter that has a roller bearing on it that eliminates the needle bearings. In, in the roller, they, it's more of a bushing style instead of the needle bearings. So maybe, maybe we'll talk about something like that. I'm not sure. I still don't know how long it's gonna take us to get this the rest of the way together and in the car. And as much as I'd love to sit here and figure this out, we have to leave for Florida, like to go on sick week and do all that. It's gonna have to kind of wait a little bit. Don't anticipate seeing this thing. What, Mr. Pierre, you wanna see the engine? Don't anticipate this thing going together super quick and getting in the car because like I said, it's it's taken me years to get to this point. What's a little bit more waiting of getting all the right parts and pieces? We've got the backup 
engine that we can throw in and we can start figuring out you know big thing there is it's this one's going to make a little bit more power it's got a little more cubic inch but they're both aluminum blocks it's going to weigh the same so wait by it like we can figure out a whole lot of other stuff with the backup engine before we throw this one in and really get ready to rock and roll and then plus we've also got another aluminum block engine what's up mr p hey okay Pierre was whining. He was standing at the door watching us have all this fun with this new engine and whining. Now, we need to get this thing inside, get it recovered up, forget about it for a week, head down to Florida. Get back to getting the C10 ready to make thousands of miles of driving happen. Huge shout out to everybody, really, that all you guys that watch the videos, subscribe, like, share, do every damn thing. Because of you guys, we get to do stuff like this. This is it. This is the first brand new, brand spanking new zero miles motor that I've ever had. It feels pretty damn good. It's going to feel a lot better when we get it in a car and start ripping on it step at a time. I've waited this long to have one of these. So what's waiting a little longer if we can, you know, maybe send the heads off and have them ported or... Uh, maybe, you know, maybe we'll just get a set of brand new heads, not sure. Build it over time and we'll get this thing out and in the car this season. It sucks because I really want to slam it together, but what's up, Mr. P? Tell the people. Tell the people. Yeah. Now that we've got this, we got to turn and burn, baby. Let's go. Oh. Might as well get used to it, bud. It's going to be thousands of miles in that seat over there. <laughs> Come on, old faithful. Gonna have to do that every time you start it up. Like, come on. No, <laughs> when it's warm, it's fine. But when it's not warm. And then like, you gotta be careful because if you over rev it, like you'll see the, the oil pressure gauge will spike. And if you rev them cold, apparently you could break the cam from the oil pressure, I don't know. You have to have just enough of your foot on it. Give it a little more RPM. This is going to be a fun week in Florida. Remind me to put fuel injection on this thing. Mind you put a glass in this thing? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you that by the end of the week, I'm going to be wanting to do all sorts of crazy like shit to this thing, especially after driving it all week. You got to realize the street rod tag thing, number one, is new in Delaware. So it's not even something that was available. The only option we had was antique tagging which meant that it had to have all of the original equipment. Like you couldn't swap the motor out, like it had to have all the original emissions. That's why everybody's like, oh, just get the Nova tag, just get this tag. Like people don't realize in the state that I live in, it wasn't possible. And for the most part, you know, some of the other vehicles maybe now are a little more possible, but like the white Camaro, it would take too much. Yeah, too much. The Nova, we would have to put a bunch of stuff kind of back to stockish, run a full exhaust, do a whole lot of work just to get a tag for something, I don't know, maybe we'll consider that, but but something like this, it met all the safety rules, it had the exhaust where it needed to be, it went right through. So this is gonna become like my new favorite vehicle just because we can go out and thrash on it whenever we want. I can already tell, it's, it's hard. I was like maybe halfway through the week, I have some opinions on this thing and I wanna get crazy with it. We haven't even left Delaware yet. You're already like, yeah, we're gonna do this and this yeah. and this. We, we already have parts on the way, like. Ready? Yeah. We do have a four barrel car for this thing, but it's not gonna work because this thing has a quadrajet intake on it. So we would need a different intake. I'm thinking maybe we'll bring the car with us because small block Chevy intake gaskets can be found anywhere. Possibly if I can find an intake, Maybe we'll swap it on the road and see if we can make our trip a little more enjoyable. I do have a quick performance uh, mini spool. To be honest with you, I have no idea what the thought process for this trip is. I just want to go try and I've never done a drag and drive event. So this is like the perfect opportunity. But, you know, I love watching roadkill and years ago, I loved those roadkill episodes just cruising the highway and fixing shit as it came up and upgrading it along the way. So I'd like to try a little of that. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we do have a couple parts that I can throw in the back of this 27 foot long bed and bring with us. Horn works. We're gonna 
have to do a full video on this one day of like all of my vehicles and what I have and all of that. Uh, we had to take a little side project today, a little side quest, because before we leave for Florida, I have to get the Dodger out of this building because they got to store some other stuff in there. So let's mount up some tires, get the Dodger out, get back on sick week preparations. Going back on dirt track tires. OG TV show, Dodger gangster style. Dirt track tires. It's funny because it's something I never really got to talk about. Like, I bought dirt track tires for the Dodger because it was like the best idea I had to gain traction in this place where they said it was gonna be gravel and pavement and dirt and everything else. I was like, that's the best idea I probably have. And then it rained. So all that went out the window. This truck is awfully useful. Suspension sucks. is a tow truck we got the Dodger out but we have got to get home and start packing up for sick week I'm getting phone calls already people already breaking down needing help needing stuff we need to get our stuff together and start hitting the road I'm not gonna bore you guys with the packing. The day is kind of getting away from us. There's one more important thing that we must know before we take this C10 on sick week. So I'm gonna spin this bad boy around here so it's not pointed at the house. And we're gonna figure out, can this thing do a burnout? Let's do burnouts. And then let's pack up and drive a thousand miles across the country. And then probably another thousand during the week and then a thousand back. So like 3,000-ish miles, something like that. Yeah. This thing has got turning radius like doo-doo. This is super important for two reasons. Number one, if it's gonna break, I'd rather it break here. And number two, if it can't do burnouts, what fun is it gonna be in Florida? gets a little smoky smoke leaves a little rubber oh we got plenty of tread on this right rear tire all right guys look we're gonna pack up head out to seek week i'm gonna keep you guys updated all the way we're gonna do roadkill style thousand mile road trip there then all week long then back plenty of coverage plenty of content it's gonna be a great time but the only way we're gonna make it is if i stop screwing off and start getting things together and packed and get the hell up out of here so i'll see you guys next time C10 does burnouts, we're in.